Hi everyone, I'm Yasu Banar from LS Sports. So we are just in front of a very, very important game. Uh, Sri Lanka meeting uh, England in this World Cup run 2023. And don't forget guys, this game is going to be a must winning situation for both the teams. If they want or like if they have any sort of hope to be placed in the first four slots as to uh, have that progression in this World Cup 2023. And uh, I feel a bit for the English team as uh, the English team came with a lot of hope, expectation and confidence to this uh, World Cup run. And uh, But uh, with the uh, defeats against uh, Afghanistan and South Africa, they have really pulled themselves down in the uh, table as well. And also, uh, they will definitely look for a big win to uh, in order to uh, increase their net run rate as well. because the net run rate is also going to be a very important factor of designing the uh, first four teams so uh, with all these things uh, definitely we can expect some really hard coming uh, from the English team and also talking about the Sri Lankan team Sri Lanka uh, have a lot of drama happening inside the uh, camp because like there are a lot of injury issues and there are many uh, substitutes coming in and also there are many uh, traveling reserves the captain is off and the captain is out and Tamika is in and now Makisha is out and uh, Angelo is in and I saw a few of the veteran uh, past players also they have uh, tweeted as uh, mentioning ICC to have a closer look on these injury issues because like uh, some things uh, some some actually think that there might be a match fix as well it was quite uh, scary to see but uh, who knows because the, always the uh, veterans and also the past mechanics they might be feeling something very awkward in this World Cup run with this Sri Lankan camp so there are lots of uh, eyebrows raised and a lot of concerns about Sri Lanka and absolutely it's quite sad to say uh, there is a lot of messes happening in this Sri Lankan camp as well but still keeping all that aside uh, captain uh, uh, Mendes is going to lead the team again and uh, especially speaking about tomorrow's game uh, uh, we, let's hope that Angelo Matthews will be included for the tomorrow's game and uh, definitely he will bring some uh, weight to the Sri Lankan middle order uh, actually at the beginning of the World Cup uh, squad selection actually I wanted uh, Angelo Matthews to stay in the first 15 but unfortunately he was eliminated but here's the chance for Matthews in a very critical uh, position where Sri Lanka is really struggling at the moment and uh, let's see what uh, Matthews can uh, bring definitely uh, he'll uh, uh, render his uh, services with uh, ball and uh, bat so let's hope uh, all the very best with uh, Angie and also uh, Sri Lanka definitely coming about the toss speaking about the toss uh, we know what the English uh, players can do so definitely they are going to go after our fragile bowling lineup I especially mentioned it's a very very fragile weak bowling uh, lineup that we have so it's always better uh, no matter what the pitch will be offering us if uh, it's uh, closed or like if it's having much more due definitely uh, the openers need to have a close watch in the first uh, 10 to 15 overs and then of course they can keep the wickets and uh, they can accelerate uh, rather than straight away trying to hit the ball from the very first delivery and uh, so definitely let's hope that uh, our guys can uh, win the toss and definitely Sri Lanka need to have a bat if we have some sort of an expectation to have this uh, game in our belt because like it, as I said it's a must winning situation for this Lanka so there is no any there's no any chance for error and also uh, guys they, they definitely need to be lightning quick and they need to be very very focused on their fielding as well so least number of errors and also the wides uh, don't forget guys in the even in the uh, past game there were 26 extras offered by uh, Sri Lanka so that's uh, quite a big worry as well so they, I think the bowling coaches have to work uh, much more close and harder and uh, definitely our guys needs to uh, pull their socks and come into this uh, particular game and speaking about the uh, English camp uh, there's no any wonders uh, we know what their game plan is there basic uh, intention is definitely with the uh, current performance and the current team that Sri Lanka is having this will be a very very uh, this will be a very very uh, easy sort of game uh, this will be a very important game where England will be looking to uh, go hard at because like uh, they definitely know that our uh, bowling department is so fragile and uh, they can get an extra bit of uh, advantage from the uh, Sri Lankan bowlers so definitely the toss is going to be another vital thing and also I, let's hope that Sri Lankan bowlers also can uh, cope up with this and they will come with some innovative plans to uh, restrict the English batters and to cramp them off and uh, to 
uh, have that uh, run making or run getting difficult. Uh, so with all these facts, uh, let's hope, uh, let's wish uh, both the very both teams are uh, all the very best, and uh, let us uh, have and also let's hope that we'll have a full day's game tomorrow. As if I uh, came to know, I'm not sure, but uh, weather is also kind of a concern. But still, hopefully we'll have uh, the all hundred uh, overs to be played. So uh, guys, uh, signing out. Yasir Banwar from LN Sports.